And I've got just a little bit of a session segment here to share with you, really convoluted universe type stuff. So the client, Michelle, has come in for a couple of reasons for her QHHT session. One is she's had um, lifelong uh, physical issues with one of her legs and surgeries and burns and all kinds of things that have happened to her. And so she's looking for healing for that. And then she's also interested in this um, heaviness that she's felt, especially around her family for her entire life. And so what you're going to hear next here is just a little tiny segment of, um, of a past life, of, of an other life that we got to see just a little, just a little glimpse of in her QHHT session. And then after you listen to this, I'll come back and kind of explain a little more. So listen in for her, um, her having this experience as a man in another life who is getting on a train. So listen in leaning over, talking to a little girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the little girl. That... And what are you saying to the little girl? I'm telling her sorry. Mm. I said sorry. Mm -hmm. And what are you sorry for? I'm sorry I'm not there. Mm. What do you mean by that? I'm just sorry I'm not there, she says. Kiss in my hand. Mm, very it's good. okay. Very good. And why are you not there? What's keeping you from being with her? There's a train behind me. Mm. There's a train behind me. Mm -hmm. I said, stay, stay there. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. And then do you get on the train or what happens? No, I'm looking for someone on the other side. I'm looking for somebody. Mm hmm. I hear the train, it's loud, I'm standing there, it's looking. Mm -hmm. she, she's not there. The little girl? She left, she's mm -hmm. gone, I left her, she's not there. Mm -hmm. Did she leave on the train? No. Or? Okay. And then where do you go? What happens to you? I'm looking for her, she's not there, I mm -hmm. left her, I don't know where she is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna leave, it's gonna leave. The train is? The train is going to leave. Mm -hmm. I can't find her. Mm -hmm. And what happens next? I have to go. I have to go. You have to get on the train. i got to get on the train. Mm -hmm. I can't find her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i got to get on the train. i got to get on it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find somebody on the train. I can't find them. Mm. It, she's there. I can see her, but I'm gone. I'm going. Mm, on the train. But now you can see the little girl? I can't see her. Mm -hmm. can't. I can't get off. Okay. She's not, she's gone. Mm -hmm. That's how you get separated from her? Mm -hmm. she, I don't know who I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. They're not there. And she, the train's gone can't see her at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Michelle experienced lots of different um, other lives in her session, and we only got that one little tiny snippet. And later, the mystery of this other person, this um, this man on the train gets resolved, and, it get, and it's connected to her leg issues. So really, really fascinating stuff. Okay, so now we're later in the session, and I'm having a conversation with the subconscious, and we're doing a body scan and we're working on some healing for Michelle's leg. And then this comes out. So listen into this. And so we know that a big part of the leg is now missing and there's metal that's replacing it. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. oh. Was she supposed to have those issues with the leg? No. Oh, okay. Very good. So I'm wondering, was it all just an accident from the other humans? There was a um, there was a grandpa. Mm -hmm. I see a grandpa on a train. Mm -hmm. On the train. An old man on a train. It's a grandpa, but. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering, what did he have to do? What did the grandpa the have grandpa, to do with her leg? He had a bad leg. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. his leg. Oh, okay. Okay. And so. 
was she the grandpa in a different place in time? She was the grandpa. Mm -hmm. Very that good. That was his lake. Okay. Very good. And was he the one that lost the little girl on the train? He lost the little girl. Uh -huh. It was his lake. He, mm -hmm. he had to go. Mm -hmm. He had to He mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. And then he, left he her. and then he left the little girl. Mm -hmm. He left her. Mm -hmm. He loved her. He didn't want to go. He left right. her. Right. He left her, but he died. He couldn't come back. Right. He couldn't come back. Yeah. She so, wanted. She wanted him to come back. Yeah. Of course she did. She didn't see him again. She didn't want him to go. So we find out the man on the train is the one that had the bad leg. And Michelle has then carried that residual energy um, from this other life with this bad leg into this life. And that's why she's had this, these leg issues, this unex, these unexplainable leg issues her entire life. It's related to that other life. And we find this in QHHT sessions quite a bit that physical issues that we manifest in this life can actually be residual energies from other lives. And that's what Michelle's been, Michelle has found. It wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. It was just all a big accident. <sighs> it wasn't his fault. <clears throat> no, he loved the little girl. That's my mom. Mm -hmm. The little girl's my mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could see her. Mm -hmm. See the how hurt she was. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just wanting to confirm that all of the issues that Michelle has had in this life with her right leg, those are just residual energies from the grandpa. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Oh, okay. I didn't. Very good. He's sorry. He's very sorry. But if I'm understanding you correctly, when Michelle incarnated this time, she carried all of those right leg issues in with her. And that's why she's had all the issues with her leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it gets even more convoluted. So it turns out, Michelle finds out that the man on the train with a bad leg was her grandfather in this life, the little girl that was being left at the train station is Michelle's mother in this life, okay? And so here we have this three generations of phenomenon that are going on. So grandfather reincarnates as daughter to continue the experience with the woman that was his daughter that is now the mother. Wow. I'm wondering now that we understand all of that and now that all of the forgiveness is processed, does Michelle need any other issues with her right leg? No. Nope. Very good. So if she works with her physical therapy and with her muscles and all of those things, will she be able to walk again? Yep. Very good. She's good. Very good. He's so sorry. He's so sorry. There's so much forgiveness, yeah. Very good. And now she can even understand maybe her mother's perspective better too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Now I'm wondering, is it even possible for Michelle to walk without a cane? Can we make that right leg so strong and so healthy? That she just walks even without a cane. Can she do that? She could do it. Very good. She could. It's strong. Very good. It's Very solid. Good. Very good. Very good. So I'm wondering, even as she comes out of this session, like even today, can she get rid of the of the cane? Is her leg that strong already? The leg is strong. She just can't be scared. Very good. Very. 
And so even today, she can have full strength and full mobility and full flexibility on her right leg. Yes. And her body can be perfectly balanced mm -hmm. and strong. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there anything else we should know about the grandma? He's, I see him, he's waving. Mm -hmm. Is he he's happy waving. and peaceful he's happy. now? Very good. He's happy and he's waving. Very good. Is there anything else we should know about the leg? It's strong now, just push and go. Very good. Is there anything else we should know about the body? Good. So, the subconscious, as we see here, has facilitated full healing of Michelle's leg, all of that residual energy released. And so here again, we have this crazy convoluted universe thing with father, daughter, granddaughter, but father and granddaughter are actually the same soul and reliving that incarnation and kind of finishing the full circle with the daughter slash mother. Okay, yeah, just a little snippet of the craziness that we get to experience in QHHT and how how profound this healing is and how convoluted our universe is. So I hope you've enjoyed listening to this segment. Thank you.